Oh, it worked. Hooray. Welcome to the 2017. Well, I guess we cooked a couple times this year, didn't we? We cooked at the 10th yes, anniversary, right? Uh, yeah. We um, streamed that. We, that was just for people who showed up. Though. That was just for people who yeah. showed up, but they're still cooking with Nick. It is. It was, it was marketed as so. It certainly was. Anyway. From the phone audio, so everybody make uh, make sure you let us know that you can actually hear us. I want great. a t-shirt. Well, cooking with Nick? Yes, please. Okay. Get someone on that. We'll see if people will buy it. An apron. You want an apron? Yeah. I don't know if Tee Public does aprons yet. I don't think it's a thing. Anyway, uh, we're late, so let's get right into this. Uh, every year we challenge Nick, basically, to, or Nick challenges himself yeah. in a lot of ways ways to make something that was popularized by a Disney restaurant in the last year. Yep. We've done, what have we done in the past? The cheeseburger flatbread, the chicken and waffle sandwich. Oh, yeah. they got, um, this is the third the time we're doing this. Cheddar we did soup. cheddar oh, cheese soup. soup. Yeah. That was the same, the same time as the waffle, waffle sandwich. Yeah. This is the third time we're doing this, right? I think so. That sounds about yeah. right. Yeah. And then Nick at the 10th anniversary event, which wasn't broadcast, uh, did the cheeseburger flatbread and uh, churro waffles. But churro those, waffles that's right those those were good but they People didn't taste like, like churros they were delicious but they were they were mismarketed i feel and that's the fear i have today we are doing uh uh the donut breaded chicken nuggets which of course uh, just a couple weeks ago began at deluxe burger and our post caused such an uproar that they had to introduce a adult version of the meal uh two days later and now that's like a thing that people order a lot. Yeah. Um, so we're going to make donut breaded chicken nuggets. Let's, so we're going to begin. Yeah, I just want to okay. explain here. Yeah, go so, ahead. Any disclaimers? Well, with recipes in the past, it was easy to find a, a real recipe for that. This seems to be something that the Luxburger just kind of did. And like people do things kind of like it, but not really. And, and so it was. It's so this is not a, like a regular thing. No. Oh no! That, I was a little surprised. I thought See, I figure be... like Disney starts something. Usually, it's something that's like they saw somewhere. Right. I they thought we could do this. I they, thought they, you guys they... would have gone to Deluxe Burger and like gotten their recipe or something. Yeah, I'm sure the people at the counter service restaurant like want to give you recipes. <laughs> I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Tony's and ask them for recipes. Oh, God. We should do that. You think anyone from like the Midwest has ever eaten at Tony's and been like, "This chicken parmesan was amazing"? <laughs> Can I have a recipe? Wow. <laughs> and then, like, there's some guy in the back, like, uh, microwave for 30 minutes. <laughs> until I think dry. if anybody goes to Tony's and say this chicken parmesan was amazing, like, that's when all the uh, air horns and confetti goes off. <laughs> you know, like a whole can of whipped cream. Something like that. So I, I, I looked around and I found I, I, we're going to actually try two different recipes. So oh. We're going to make two different versions of this okay. and see which one tastes better. All one right. version is going to kind of be rolled in with cinnamon and sugar and fried and stuff like that. The other one's a little more adventurous. I'm actually going to wrap the chicken nuggets in dough and fry them that way. Oh. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be a little different. So let's let's get to work. All, All right. right. I'm going to switch us over to the, the coreless cam. Hold on here. Oh, I don't know if that worked. It's, it worked. I, oh, I am presenting to everybody? Yep, you're presenting over your phone. Oh, there we go. Okay. Good. We're, on the, we're on the cordless cam now. So it'll be a little, little if this is the first time I'm not really like, yes, this is going to come out amazing. Um, so what I'm doing first is I'm going to make kind of the batter that I'm going to uh, roll the chicken in. Uh, both chicken but for both of the recipes we'll get rolled kind of in the same batter mm -hmm. with a little bit of a difference so uh, the one that gets fried will have a little bit something else on it and uh and the one that gets breaded we'll just okay we're gonna give that a shot uh so uh right now i'm doing the uh i'm putting some flour in here getting a cup of flour have we ever actually published recipes before no we said we were gonna do it i think last year we never did it we kind of wrote it up in the YouTube um, like description a bit, but I don't oh, think uh, anything super specific. That's, yeah, yeah. So I got a cup of flour in here. Kind of got trying to get everything prepped here. Is that a ninja wrap. blender? It is. It's so good. Just got that. Like, see, this is why we couldn't use my apartment because Nick has all these amazing fancy things that I don't even like have normal versions of. 
It was just easier. I, you know, I didn't understand why you wanted to do it at my apartment because no. you had to have known I don't have anything. We were lighting fire to your apartment, so that's we did. Sad. We lied, like when they announced well, you a, could... would open in. You know, <laughs> there'll be so other opportunities to set fire to Tom's yeah. apartment. Yeah, yeah, my Christmas party in two weeks. I don't. So we got some flour, brown sugar. We're gonna toss some cinnamon in there. Look, it's like Jack Skellington. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's dead. That's not bad. That looks yummy. All right, so that's our. Um, so what's in here so far? We have flour. We have flour, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Okay. All right, so we're gonna mix that up. So which version is this we're making first? This well, is the this regular... is gonna be the this is gonna be the batter that I'm actually okay. gonna coat both in. Okay. Um, the, they'll separate a little bit later. By the way, those are tater tots just for fun. Your oven is playing music. Yeah, it does that. Okay. LG, life's good. Is that like you can load up MP3s? I don't think there. quite. It's like the, the sound system of a Tamagotchi in that there. Would be <laughs> Tamagotchi, look it up, kids. Look at that. Oh, we have, we have tots. We have tots. For the tots! For the tots. <laughs> look at that. And if That's like your appetizer. Don't forget to donate to the real tots, not these edible ones, at toys.wdwnt.com. By the way, you bought this already? This Florida license plate magnet? Oh, yeah. All right. I didn't buy any of that. That was at Expo. Oh, that's right. Florida and California were at the Expo. Forgot about that. All right. So we got this mixture. Uh, we're going to do some eggs and the milk and some cinnamon. Okay. So... Also, there's a there's a dog under a pillow. Oh, yeah. You want me to show the dog? I, I can go. Here. Yeah, she's hiding under a pillow. I'm afraid if I get too close, she'll get excited and this will end. See, yeah. Like, I got within five feet and the tail is now, like, swinging all over the place. She's about ten months old. Yeah. Well, see? Look at that. She's out from under the pillow now just because I came somewhat close. Yep. <laughs> now she's over here. There she is. <laughs> see, see what we did? Okay. See, now we taunted the dog. Now the dog's excited. All right, let's get back to cooking. Oh, she also likes now the sound we, of cracking eggs. Now that we talk. Oh, yeah? Time. Yeah. Do you feed her a lot of human food? Just eggs. Just eggs, she, okay. She likes eggs. Eggs are good for a dog's coat. Oh, okay. So we got some eggs there. Let's do a half a cup of buttermilk. We got that in the fridge. That's a good place for milk. Typically. <laughs> no, only the specifically buttermilk. Only the fattiest buttermilk for us. We got the gourmet buttermilk because oh, Tom spares no expense. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh god. What does it smell like? It smells like sour cream. Can I smell? Yeah. I smell it. It's not a good smelling milk. Oh yeah, it does smell exactly like sour cream. Yeah. It's yeah, it's not a milk to drink. No, no. What well, I want to try some. <laughs> Look how thick that is. You can drink. Oh, you can drink it. I've drank it before. Oh. Mm -hmm. Buttermilk shots. <laughs> oh, boy. By the way, if, if we do get adventurous later, we do we can make those Thanksgiving Thanksgiving in Manhattan drinks. Oh, yeah. Everything. We'll see how we're doing on time. We're, we're very late already. We are. I don't want to hold up around the hub all day. Then they need a tablespoon of cinnamon in there. What time are they supposed to start? One, but we could push them back a little bit. Uh, we gave we gave Drawn from the Vault two hours. What's on after Drawn from the Vault? Is that uh, Parks Pursuit? Yeah, Parks, Parks Pursuit. Four or five. Yeah, we could always push back Parks Pursuit a half hour. That game we we you know we have some control over. What's at five? Anything? I don't have the schedule in front of me. Really so anyway, what are we doing now? Mixing up some milk, eggs, and some cinnamon in here as well. Milk, eggs, and cinnamon. Oh, somehow the cordless cam got... Tom, somehow the cordless cam got turned off. What do you mean turned off? Like, um, we can't see the cordless cam. What are you looking at? We're looking at the laptop cam. Back? All right. Yeah, now we're looking at you two looking at us. What are you still doing here? Go home. 
<laughs> it says that one's presenting. Let me see if I stop presenting and like restart it again. Did that work? Jason, what camera are we on? Hang on, let me see if it switches. Yeah, now it's switched. Okay, so we're back on this camera. Yeah. Now it's switched. Okay. That yeah. camera's a little blurry. Which camera? The, the the cordless camera is a little blurry. Yeah, well, we, we're doing the best we can here. We can only have so many things on the Wi-Fi, and I'm on LTE. All right, so these are some about uh, panko breads. Should give the chicken a nice crisp. Okay. If you, Tom, if you tilt the laptop down a little bit more, we could probably see better. Yeah, let's see. From the laptop view. Move it. I mean, you're looking across the counter, but yeah. You know, does that look good to you? I don't know if that's really going to be better that's, than the phone. That's, that's actually really good just for the video quality. Yeah, I'm going to, Jason, I'm going to give you control so you can. That's good. Okay, perfect. You can decide what we're doing here. Okay. There oh, you go. You know, well, I don't have to worry about switching anymore. It's all on you. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to... I got kind of a little tater tot. Hold on. There you go. Oh, did you eat a tater tot already? Yeah, enjoy. I'm going to grab one. Those are kind of a... Yeah, I guess we kind of can walk. Reason that made me go with them. I was like, yeah. yeah Anything special about them? Was it, no. did, you, did you make them from scratch? No. No, 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 no. no from, tater tots really from scratch? Yeah. Really? So yeah, there you go. Nick. Nick cooked something I made, frozen tater. Yep, yep. <laughs> we are going to have a delicious hot cinnamon uh, uh, dipping sauce for them, though. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. We plus everything here. All right, so this is, uh, I just got chicken tenders. Jason, some people are saying you never switch for you. I know, I'm trying to switch it. I don't, I don't know why it's not switching. Yeah, we're having some issues. Oh. You see, yeah, it's, I don't know why it's not switching. It's not switching to your handheld cam at all. No? No. I'm just going to restart, uh, restart the phone then. Let me turn on audio on the laptop so everybody can hear us. Then. So, so, so. Yeah, that's going to happen for a second. Yeah. All right, now okay. we're on the, we should be on the laptop. We're on the laptop. We can hear you. Yep. I do. Have, I don't have sound coming out of the laptop though. So I got the chicken tenderloin wings, and I'm cutting them up into just bite-sized chunks for nuggets, nugget purposes. Nugget purposes. You know, like we do. You know, um, my mother made chicken uh, cutlets for years. You know, she never made nuggets though. Only cutlets. Mm -hmm. Not that there's a big difference. You literally just have to cut them different. Right. No, mom. Yeah, mom's make cutlets. Yeah, she could have made nuggets, but that would have been different and thus frowned upon. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, we had a very set schedule. Monday was sausage. Tuesday was meatloaf. Uh, Wednesday uh, we do like breakfast for dinner: potatoes and eggs. Stop it. And the leftover sausage would end up with the potatoes and eggs. Yeah, yeah I love uh, that. Yeah, no, it was wonderful. Potato I'm not sausage. saying my mother was a bad cook. She just really liked to cook what she cooked. Potato sausage and eggs is so yeah. underrated. You know, like Thursday, we do, uh, I think Thursday was chicken cutlets. Uh, Friday, we, we order something. And general, Sunday was always uh, macaroni and meatballs, uh, obviously. Yeah, so we got to eat meatballs or do ziti or something. So we got the, uh, the the chicken nuggets cut up. Um, we got we got the batter. All right, there we go. Oh. I hit mute on that. It should just mute, right? Okay.
Tom, now we can't hear you at all. Both, both are muted. All right, now that the laptop's unmuted. That good now? No, see, look at it's going. It's not the video still not switching to your phone. Like I have that as presenting, and it's not presenting. Forget, forget the. Just, I'm going to turn just, your volume over here, then. Just carry the laptop around yeah, like you have the phone. the phone. There you are. Yeah, I will, I'll walk around with the laptop. Technology is wonderful, kids. <laughs> well, I should have kept the phone open so I could see what I'm actually looking at. Ooh, no, I think... Well, um, yeah, that's yeah, really good now. This is the worst idea. This is really good. Yeah, yeah, but you have no idea how uncomfortable this is. I understand. Oh. All right, so we go around here? Yeah. 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 Okay. You yeah. see Tom's yeah. nose. <laughs> yeah, nose. Here, I'm going to leave Nick yeah. here. I'm going to figure something out. So right now, as far as prep goes, um, I do have the uh, chicken tenders cut up into, into nuggets. I have the, uh, the kind of wet. Uh, portion of the batter all ready to go so we can dip the chicken in there and then roll it in the dry mm. stuff. Um, I do have a mixture of uh, flour, cinnamon, um, and, that, and uh, that's going to help coat the chicken as well before we fry it. Um, so like I said, I'm preparing kind of two different recipes kind of at the same time, getting them ready. And right here, I have a cinnamon sugar mix. Uh, that is what we're going to roll the fried donuts in basically when we coat hold on a second when we uh, no. uh there's oh, echo there's sound coming from here I think the echo's gone now. No, you're fine. Go ahead. All right, good. Yeah, the echo's There's gone. A good way to do this now. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, uh, so we got we got a cinnamon sugar coating as well. That will be what we roll the chicken when we coat them in the actual dough. Uh, we're just going to I'm using a pre-made dough, so I'm not actually making the uh, the dough that I'm rolling it in. Pillsbury. Yeah. So we Grand's were, biscuits are amazing. We're going to take this, we're going to make a thin layer of this dough, wrap the chicken in that, fry it, and then roll it in the cinnamon sugar mix. Crazy, but that's what we're doing. Um, the other thing I'm making is a little uh, cinnamon honey drizzle. Yeah. It's going to be good. We have, uh, we're going to do a little bit of this. Can you put a thing on What kind of honey? Infused with chilies. Ooh. Yes. So, interesting. So let's see, we need a fourth cup of honey. Just a What's up? No, I'm just making sure everything's in the shot, which is very difficult when you're standing behind it and mm -hmm. unable to see it. Oh, man, these, these always work out so well. Nick, you know, Nick should be wearing your GoPro. Yeah, you want to figure out that setup? Nope. <laughs> That's what I thought. Hot honey, there it goes. Yeah. Pour that in here. Next, not fitting. There we go. This camera work's going to win like an award. <laughs> For best cinematography with a laptop camera, the award. <laughs> Actually, the award's going to go to the map game map. Jeez. You know that's partially why you need webcams that plug in via USB so that you can move them easier. Yeah, we left those at the radio station. I was going to say you have it. That would have been amazing. Didn't even think of that. Yeah. Did we do that last night? Like maybe we did. We had a real webcam. No, we like, had like three cameras had, last we time. We did the phone thing last time too. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah, this is like a, a you know steady cam. 
<laughs> honey out of here. Sorry. It's very exciting. Don't want to waste honey. I hope it's in frame. I can't tell. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you, you have any honey tots? Honey tots. Oh, God, that honey's good. Mm. All right. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it. Oh, other honey in there? That's a big jar of honey. I like honey. The chat is saying um, next year cooking with Nick should be turned into WWNT Cutthroat Kitchen. Ooh, I don't know what that means. Wasn't I'm guessing count? that's a show, Cutthroat. I, I guess I don't know. A little bit of cinnamon in there. So we got cinnamon. And you honey. mixed regular honey in with this hot honey. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy. Okay. And what is this for? Is this going in the breading? No, nah, this is just a little drizzle. This is the drizzle, all yeah. right. Probably could have waited to make that, but. Okay. What have? What have? All right, I don't need that. So I think clear this up a little bit. I think we might be about ready. Start frying some stuff up. The moment of truth. I have zero idea if this is gonna work right. Now, let's say I don't cook anything except hamburgers. Which you don't. Correct. So let's say that. Yeah. Uh, if I want to, like, ever fry something, because I feel like frying chicken isn't, like, probably the most terribly difficult thing in the world. It is not. Like, what are your tips? Like, how do I get started doing this? What do I need to buy, and what am I, what am I doing? Well, um, I mean, the easy way to do it is, like, an electric or deep. Easiest way. Um, I don't have one that works right now, but that's okay. a nice one because it let you know the new ones electronically let you know when the temperature is ready. And yeah, it's nice and uniform. Yeah, uh, we're not doing that. So what are we using? We got a nice, nice skillet. This is actually okay. called a chicken frying pan. And oh, okay. It is specifically like made with these high sides with the oil. Yeah, and fry stuff right in there. Okay. Um, I'm using canola oil. I mean, you can. Any number of oil. Is this terribly more difficult? Um, it is. Well, it's easier with the deep fryer because it's literally made for. It has the top. You throw it in there. You yeah. kind of you kind of forget it. A lot of them have settings that ding. You know, and when it should be done depending on what you yeah. set. Yeah. You know. Okay. Um. Yeah. So it is. A, it is a little bit more difficult okay. to know when it's done. That's the problem, and you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to hear <laughs> so what Nick's trying to tell me is I, I should not try this. I should just get you should get a deep hard. fryer. I don't even like trying it. Be honest with you, I really okay. don't like deep frying. Things. Okay. Um, Nick needs a new deep fryer then. Never really been good at it. But yet you're willing to try this. So. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take a step back. <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah. Don't <laughs> um, um, this is gonna be scary. Why is that burner purple? Eggs. It does look purple in the camera. It's red, oh, though. Oh, I thought you were talking about that. No, it looked purple. On the, I saw it in my in the screen here, and it did look... Yeah, it looked purple. Kind of purplish. That's a fancy stove with music and purple burners. <laughs> yeah, right. right so we're going to let that... You know what else has music and purple burners? <laughs> the party bus and fast... <laughs> <laughs> Um, do we have any Lasseter wine to go on this? Oh boy. Grab some. <laughs> Get woke. <laughs> this chicken. This chicken is waiting to become to become nuggets. That's its dream. Yeah, you don't know how to open a. I could teach you how to open a Grand's biscuit package. Gotcha. <laughs> Tom's gonna show you how to open Grand's biscuit. So now we're gonna learn how to open Grand's biscuits. Let me show you here. You don't even need the spoon. That's that's garbage. You just look for the seam and you literally press on it. 
Actually, this one's the short can, so give me the spoon. <laughs> it's the short can, so it's not as easy to get pressure uh -huh. right there. You have to unwrap it first. Yeah, you do. You're supposed to pull this first. Oh, are you? Yeah, you unwrap you it first. Uh, and then. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. And I helped. <laughs> I make grand biscuits all the time. The chat is um let's see, the chat is is going pretty crazy here. So I'm just gonna read some of what the chat is saying. Yeah, go ahead. Um it says Nick will be making breakfast items from Polly using only an easy bake oven on the next cooking with Nick episode. I think that's what they use at this point, the Kona menu. Oh, God. Thank um, you. Is it really? Need some time. Kona got bad. Hey, Breakfast is still good, too. Hey, but... the honey over there. Oh, yeah? All right, let's do this. Kona was good at dinner at the 10th anniversary. And it's gotten bad. Really? That short oh, a time? A pretty negative. Story. Where's the honey? Oh, to your right. To your right. Top of the... Oh, up here. Okay. We're going to dip a tot in the honey. Oh, apparently Cutthroat Kitchen has Alton Brown on it. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's spicy. Got all that kick. Oh, I love that. That's fantastic. And I feel like that's something I could do. Throw some tots in the oven. Just mix that honey sauce real quick. Tom, we got a, we got a donation. Do you want to announce the donation? I can't see it, so you can go ahead and do it. Okay. But we don't have... We don't have sound effects either. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Jeff and Aunt Sin just donated $72. Thank you, Uncle Jeff and Aunt who? Patrick's Uncle Jeff and Aunt Sin. Okay, thank you. How much they donate? $72. Oh, thank you. What's our new total? Uh, that's a good question. $2,136. All right, we're getting there. A little less than five thousand dollars to go. You just sell some tickets to a great movie ride event. There so my go. thinking here is that um, well, people use this to and make like kind of stuffed breads or stuffed bake items, you know, like a like a calzone. Yeah, yeah, and so people do this. I don't. I really have no idea if it's going to work. We're going to try a couple. See if it works. If it works, it's going to be amazing because it's going to taste amazing. And if not, it's going to be rivers of light. <laughs> so we're just kind of working the dough, flattening it out. Nick bit. is one with the fryer. Nick, do you have baking soda? I do. All right, you're supposed to use baking soda for oil fires, according to Courtney. Ah, uh, yes. Tom, the fire extinguisher is over in the laundry room. Oh, do you actually have one? Yeah. Well, I guess I have one in my apartment. Well, you should. Am I getting it? No. I'm just oh, <laughs> I'm on the way. I was, I was, well, since I'm over here, I'll get another top. <laughs> I just thought we were being cautious. Disney guy asks, are these chicken breast nuggets? Yes. Yeah. Look, there I mean, they are. Chicken breast nuggets. They are indeed. So we don't have any Ken's honey Dijon. Oh, you know what the request is for next show is cornbread chicken nuggets. Oh god. I don't think that would work. No, they do. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a it would just be like a corn dog, except for it's a chicken nugget instead of a corn dog. It doesn't sound good. Well, you all right, you put lobster. You got lobster corn dogs and you got regular well, corn dogs. Why that. couldn't you have chicken corn I don't dogs? Think white meat chicken and, and corn dog batter is going to taste that great. All right. So, let's see. Ready? One more. All right. So, the, the chicken. So the chicken pieces, you gonna get you roll them in the flour like so, dip them in the uh, 
the wet mixture like so then back in the the triple dip yes the you triple dip chip, is you dipped it once you took a bite you dipped um, <laughs> the triple dip is the hallmark of good uh good fried items what was that the triple dip is the hallmark of a good fried item i had to use fry a lot jason fair amount yeah okay what do you guys usually fry uh i make my own uh fish like fish fillets okay um f- uh, fish sticks sort of thing um i'll make chicken nuggets okay or chicken tenders um i make butternut squash fries because my kids love those oh. so That's instead of french fries or tater tots i make it make butternut squash fries okay see i'm lazy with the fish i won't bread them or anything i'll season them but i, I just yeah. Well, I have a I have a deep fryer, so like Nick said, it's super easy. Yeah, I, have, I don't have the deep fryer. I like buy the fish and I just cook it and I season it and I eat it. So this is the part where these kind of two recipes will part ways. They'll both get rolled in this. The what are they getting rolled in right now? Um, this is this is the flour, brown sugar, sugar and, and cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah. A lot of people use forks or whatever. I'm a hand person. It's icky, but you know what? Whatever. As long as you washed your hands before. Another, we have another donation to announce. Go for it. Uh, Jedwa donated ten dollars with a request to put cornbread to rest. I agree. What's the new total? Two thousand one hundred and forty-six dollars. Cool. I'm pretty sure Jedwa is the cornbread guy. Yeah, he is. Uh, people are asking it when will around the hub start. We're probably going to shoot for like one thirty, uh, or, or as soon as we're done cooking, one or the other. What time is it now? 107. Okay. Maybe. We'll see how this goes. If anything, we can push back Parks Pursuit. It's not a big deal. Well, yeah, we'll end up having to push back Hub and Around the Vault. Around the Vault. (laughs) Stay tuned for Drawn from the Hub and Around the Vault. (laughs) Next. Uh, we'll have to push back around the hub and drawn from the vault by like half an hour or so, and then we'll push back Parks Pursuit too, because we do have an hour sort of buffer in there. Yeah, between. So these are obviously the mixtures, the flavors that should give it that donut flavor. That's, I think, the point. Um... Oh, I thought these were going to be like chocolate donut chicken. Oh my god! I told him about the <laughs> chocolate chili last night, and no one understood what what that is. Or this morning, oh, no one understood how you could make that chocolate chili. I said it wasn't like overbearing, like yeah, it's unsweetened chocolate. Yeah, yeah, it's just some cocoa powder. You put cocoa powder in a lot of stuff that you wouldn't yeah, think of. Couldn't fathom that you could make something chocolate and it not be a dessert. That was weird. Kind of bubbled a bit. Yeah. Get these things cooking. These are the crazy ones. All right, I don't know. We want to come watch you do this. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm going to roll a piece of chicken and a piece of dough and see what the heck happens on the other side. This is hard to angle. There we go. So it's like a little chicken. Pocket. It's like, it's like a pig in the blanket, but with a chicken. Yeah. And that pig is like all the way in the blanket, not like pigs in a blanket that stick out the edge. True. You got it all the way wrapped up in that blanket. I do because it's, it's going to be donut I suppose. Yeah, so he's completely wrapping them. And then supposedly this stuff will fry up on the outside and we'll roll it in. Cinnamon sugar. 
We're going to do two. We're going to give it a shot. See what happens. See if the kitchen explodes. So I think the, I think the slower I can kind of cook it, the better the odds that the chicken's actually cooked inside. Oh, great. We're going to cut it open and make sure it's cooked. Perfect. We're going to see. How long does it take for food poisoning to set in? Do I, will I make it through the end of the show? Hey, Jason, can you Google that? Yeah, you'll be fine. Food poisoning is, some, is 24 to 72 hours. Okay. Um, Nick really should have a a a uh, cooking thermometer. I should, yes. Even I have a cooking thermometer. Really? You. You mean like the one you put in a turkey? Oh, wow. Yeah, I have that. Those look like wontons. They do look like wontons. Fried wontons, yeah. Those got hard real fast. Shut up. <laughs> oh, boy. I will drop this laptop on you. So my other idea is to actually in first roll it, then refry it. I think that's going to be the better option. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. How quick should that chicken cook inside? Uh, not this quick. Yeah. That's what I figured. Temperature's not high enough. Uh, but I think, uh, so this is like experimental cooking with me. Those look fun, don't they? I mean, most of the, they do look fun. Most of the things you've made, it was your first time making them, though. No, actually, I think everything I had... Oh, yeah, cheddar cheese soup was something you had made before. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and so was the f cheeseburger flatbread. Yeah. Tell me, you like on top of the fridge? Yes, I'm a cat. <laughs> <laughs> they look fun. Right? Yeah. Ain't nothing like springs. I'm going to cut these open. Yeah, there's no way of chicken. Yeah. Who wants some pink chicken? Woo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, that's wrong. All right. It's very uncooked. All right. All right, you know what? We Take two. Now we're just going to fry them up. Yeah. And then... and then do that. That makes sense. I think so. By the way, uh, if you're thinking about getting a gym membership, don't bother. Film something <laughs> with the laptop. <laughs> like my shoulders are burning. It's great. Just do this. About how long do you think these take? A few minutes. Okay. Yeah, they should only take a couple of minutes. Yeah. More than 45 seconds like those other ones. Like the other thing, yeah. Well, dough fries very quickly. I mean, that's not really a secret. Yeah, I think that's the issue. Yeah, I mean, like, you go to the fair, they make you a fried Snickers. You literally watch them throw it in, and it's, it's like in your hands within 30 seconds. Like um, uh, Michael mentioned San Gennaro last night, where they fried just about everything. I don't think that's any state fair or yeah. festival or anything like that.
I have high hopes for this. Yeah. And these are our regular version. It's probably more akin to what they're doing at a. It probably is, but Deluxe. you know I. And that makes sense. Yeah. So that'll be our like plus again. I've never given anybody food poisoning yet. <clears throat> Happy to be your first. Do you have a button? Is there like a first food poisoning uh, button? Crazy. What'd you say, Jason? I said having a button is crazy. Yeah. Hey, maybe he needs a magnet on his fridge, though. Yeah. You saying they don't have enough magnets? Well, yeah. You can smell the cinnamon sugar wafting off of it, probably. Wafting? Wafting? Wafting. 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 Let's call the whole thing off. Please, <laughs> end it now. See, Nick, this is where you're supposed to pull out a plate of them finished. I know, right? <laughs> That's a couple of years from now. <laughs> You think we're going to last? <laughs> oh, there's like 30 people in the chat. Yeah, this is the biggest crowd I think we've had for Cooking with Nick. This is pretty exciting. Donate. Yeah, please donate the to Toys for Tots at toys.wdwnt.com. Donate and we'll show the puppy more. Is that what people want? The puppy is out cold. It's like, yeah, I've seen this. Yeah. Like, why are people filming this? He does this every day. This is so hard to do. I'll lift it up. There I mean, we go. All right, let's see what one of these looks like. Well, it looks like chicken. <laughs> Those are those are full cooked, yeah. All right. Probably let them cool off, no? Probably. Holy Jesus. <laughs> yeah, those are very hot. Woo! Yeah, let them cool off for a moment, folks at home. Should you try these? Oh, those are nice. It's not super profound, but it isn't a deluxe either. It's kind of a, a tinge. Right. And that's what you got going there. Like this one, I'm going to roll. They actually, the aftertaste is, is shockingly similar to Deluxe. Let's try one of these when we rolled it right in the cinnamon sugar. So what did you do with these? You, you took them and you rolled them. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, wow. Right? Mm-hmm. So those out of the fryer, you just rolled in cinnamon sugar. That's all you yeah. did, right? That makes a big difference. Uh, we got the honey drizzle for that. That's like a yeah. We got to do the honey drizzle. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're gonna we're gonna be able to start around the hub in like ten minutes, right? Well, we're gonna try. We're still, still gonna, gonna try, try the, the adventurous one. one. Yeah. Okay. We battered these, we fried them, we threw them in cinnamon sugar, and now we've thrown on the honey drizzle at this point. Yeah. All right. You're not making, like, donut fried chicken. You're making, like, chicken stuffed donuts. <laughs> well. Oh, that's amazing. 
Yeah. Wow. So Nick, let's let's go over the recipe for that batter and stuff quickly. I just um, want to mention real quick. The cinnamon sugar hitting that spicy honey is unbelievable. Those are amazing. So let's go over the recipe real quick. All right. So we uh, we start with the dry mixture, which is the flour, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Okay. And you have the so that's just cinnamon and flour. And brown sugar. And brown sugar. And brown sugar mixed up and coat. Cinnamon. Okay. Yeah, then you have the wet part of the batter, which is eggs, buttermilk, and more cinnamon. Uh, so then... So there's no flour in there. It's just eggs, buttermilk, and cinnamon. Right. So what you do is you roll it in the in the dry mixture. Because right. it's you, in the little pieces, you roll it in the dry mixture. You roll it in the wet mixture. You roll it back in the dry mixture. Three-step process. Yeah. Roll it in the fryer. We got it out of the fryer. And then we rolled it in just a cinnamon sugar mixture. To, uh, to give that that coating on the outside, right when it comes out, it's best because it's still wet. It's That's like a churro. Yeah. 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 And then we did the honey, which was so I like a spicy honey, a regular honey, and what else was in there? Well, I didn't have it. You know, I would have used all spicy honey if yeah. I had it. I just had that small thing. Yeah. You could find the chili-infused honey at places, but uh, yeah, you could use normal chili too, but I, I mean normal honey. Um, but I did the honey, I did the hot honey, and I did cinnamon in here too. So a lot of Everything's got yeah, everything uh, and you can use do you that much know, just because you don't like, and like if you die at some point. Well, or? I think when you fry it, while it's coming off, yeah, okay, I mean, you know, so that's why we keep, yeah, cinnamon. And the cinnamon there. is the flavor of the donut, kind of, yeah, know? no, that's like true, yeah, because we had them before the we did that cinnamon roll and they just had that tinge at the end, which is what right. deluxe pretty much is. You're making them a little more desserty, but they're they're certainly better than deluxe, which I like the deluxe ones a lot. Have another one. And that honey, you could just really do like some sriracha with some regular honey. You don't have to actually go out and find hot honey. Exactly. Yeah, you can make your own hot honey. Tell you what you roll it with. I mean, you know, and I, you could actually buy cinnamon honey. I love that one too. So you don't, you know, buy regular honey and have it. So we're gonna we're gonna fry up a couple more pieces, and then we're gonna try rolling it in that dough and just seeing what that does. I can't even begin to tell you how how good I think those are. Those are fantastic. I think they came out really good. Yeah. The honey and the cinnamon at the end makes it. It's unbelievable. Yep. A little missed that at first, but. Uh... But yeah, you, you as usual tried to complicate it. Yeah. But now we'll we'll try that the smart way and see if we can make these happen. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Well, it should taste like chicken and biscuits ish. Yeah. So, what we're doing this time is the same process. Mm -hmm. We're frying them, and then once they get out of the fryer, you're not going to put anything on them out of the fryer. No. Out of the fryer, they're going to go over here and basically get wrapped in a Grand's biscuit. Yes. Then we're going to go back to the fryer. Fry that. Not to be confused with Back to the Future, obviously. Back to the fryer. And then when they come out of the fryer, what are we going to do with them? Roll them in the cinnamon sugar. In the cinnamon yeah, sugar? Yeah. You're going to honey drizzle that too or no? We could. Why I'm not? just curious. I don't know what the I don't know. Is. We'll leave it both ways. Okay. You're pressing them real thin. Yeah, I think I want them thin. I, I, I think I want it to cook that fast. Okay. Yeah, because they're already cooked. And obviously, you could use a whole thing. I was going to say. Yeah. That I also have. You have a rolling pin? Yeah, I have a cutting board. I mean, it's mostly decorative. Yeah. <laughs> mostly yeah, decorative. I don't know why I never got uh, it. We'll show it at the outlet. It looks good. It looks, you know, obviously the inside just wasn't cooked. That's the problem. Yeah. But 
it's Tony's problem. Well, I was going to say, when Tony saw that, I actually got a voicemail there while hiring me. Yeah. Like, oh. Did it say, like, was it a number and it said Toledo? This is the Tony Ragu. You should have followed a Butoni recipe. By the way, do you want to see how bad it makes you produce the Oh, seven minutes, seven minutes. Oh, 14 Great, thanks. Yeah, you can mute that. <laughs> bring you the glass. Great. 14 the first quarter. Oh, you may want to kill that sound, though. Just because I don't know how bad. We're on an internal mic in a, in a laptop. Right, there's your football update. The Dolphins are losing. Surprise, everyone. I just had another one of the first batch. They're so good. They're really good. Now that I know we can make these, I actually buy these from a better Oh, sure, Tom's coming. Just buy some junk chicken. <laughs> some chicken. It's chicken butt nuggets. So these are cool. This is probably approximately what they do. I would have to think. I'm not. I don't know. Because it's counter service, I'm not sure if those are made there. Maybe that's what the company they order from is doing. Like Deluxe obviously makes their burgers on site. But I don't know if because that's usually a kid's meal item. I don't know if that kind of works going into I could be wrong. Maybe they just order the chicken from the company and maybe they do the breading and stuff back there. I don't really know. Well, maybe we should go ask. Jason, how are we doing on time? Uh, it's one twenty-seven. Patrick's, I think, uh, almost ready for hub. So you got we a couple minutes, to, five minutes uh, just to complete and taste these uh, the second version. Yeah, you got time for that. Okay. All right, all right. so we're gonna try this. We're gonna go inside here. <clears throat> Obviously, be be careful when wrapping them fresh out of the fryer. I just want to tell people. Don't try this at home. Yeah. All these chicks in a blanket. <laughs> oh, They're far more expensive on OBT. Wow. How important is it that it be like fully sealed? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. Um, I don't think it's very important. But we're gonna do it anyway. Let's try two. Let's see yeah. what happens here. By the way, you shouldn't drop stuff in the hot oil with your bare hands. I should be using. <laughs> Over there, yeah, this is not safety with Nick. <laughs> <laughs> well, loads of it, you're gonna want to turn that real quick. That looks pretty brown down there already, right? Yeah, yeah. give me another couple seconds. Yeah, these should only take one or two minutes because it's such a thin, yeah, layer of dough. Maybe we could experiment trying to make our layers of dough. Yeah, I remember um Remember Ron wanted to challenge me? Is that 
at one of these cooking events? I think so. Yeah. We'll do that sometime. Maybe we'll do that in December. I don't think Ron knows what he's. To have anything, even your cheeseburger flatbread, I thought was good, and I hate cheeseburger flatbread. I only have a personal chef. Sure. There you I don't cook at home enough. Mm. I have to go review menus at theme park. Yeah. Why I'll never be in shape unless I lift a laptop up for filming every day. <laughs> These cool off. <laughs> As hot as the chicken was out of there, I feel like that's going to be much hotter. And Nick's going to put that cinnamon sugar on them. Just roll it in there. That looks deadly. This is the deluxe version taking to another degree. Deluxe Cicero. <laughs> All right. Might as well do some honey drizzle. Look at those. Look at those. They look great, right? Well, now that it's done, we could just actually oh, yeah. put the laptop up here, right? <clears throat> Yeah, and then we can watch you eat it. Yeah, that's what everybody wants to see. I need a picture of it. We're not using my phone. <laughs> now, this is what I'm good at. No, I can, I can make it look clean. You want to give me a cross section on one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is literally what we do at every counter service restaurant or date. Food comes out, 40 photos, cut it in the middle, more photos. Look at that. It's literally just a chicken in a fish. Literally what? what we have to Look at that. Mm. How can you go wrong with that? Holy shoot. <laughs> That's yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> what? But you know what? Can I say something? Yeah. I like the first ones better. Okay. This is fantastic still. Right. But I think I enjoy more getting that, you know, the, the crisp of the yeah. breading. And yeah. These are still very good. But this is a dessert. <laughs> or a breakfast. I can see this going Oh, with yeah. Throw some eggs in there. Sure. It's so good though. Wow. Yeah, so it really just depends on your preference which one you want to make. Personally, I like the uh I guess you say the lunch version, which uh, I'll show you. Yeah. I will uh I'll type something up for you guys. So that look good too. That looks good. Yeah, that was excellent. I'm, I was so nervous about this one. Actually. Yeah. I think there's still a slight edge to these. Mm -hmm. I need the honey. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Well, honey's the key on those. It is. They're a little dry without the honey. Wow. Nugget needs a dipping sauce. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's already so much going on, but with the honey, the, the I like the normal ones a lot. Not that the other ones are bad. They're just, I think they're a bit much. I think they're unnecessary, probably. Maybe. But they're but good. It's a fun little yeah. thing to do. But I think we have another success here. Donut breaded chicken breast nuggets. Yup. Take them at home, and we'll, uh, we'll put the recipe at least in the YouTube description. I will. So yeah, I'll get that, can. Jason. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. so we did it. So we're gonna we're gonna leave you now as we eat all this. <laughs> Don't eat the raw ones. Yeah, probably not. Uh, and uh, we're gonna send it to around the hub as we continue our marathon. Please donate to Toys for Tots at toys.wdwnt.com if you want to donate uh, ten dollars or, or less than ten dollars, I should say, or want to donate through PayPal. Do that at PayPal at wdwnt.com. That's where you want to send it. So uh, for Nick. We are uh, we are going to go eat our chicken, our donut breaded chicken nuggets now. All right, and uh, we're going to switch the audio.